Uh, fourth video in the electrostatics unit. We're going to look at voltage and electric potential energy in this unit. And so this first animation is just kind of going at this point. When you have a charged object, you have an electrical field created. And if you have more charge, you're going to have more electrical field, and that's going to be what would interact with any other charge around it. So if I place a negative over here, the stronger electric field is going to have more of a repulsion, so you'd have a quicker acceleration away from it, more potential energy uh, in that charge, wanting to get away from that charged object. And if I had a positive charge, it would want to go, it would want to, it would want to, it'd be attracted a uh, much greater amount to a stronger charged, a charged sphere, and therefore accelerate more towards the sphere as a, a result, because it would create a force and force causes acceleration. So that's all this is showing you. The, um, the electron is going to want to move away from a charged sphere if it's right there. And so that's going to be the potential energy that will be stored. We'll see. We'll do some calculations later on with the math. But that electron has potential energy to go away. A proton would have potential energy to go towards that sphere. And we can charge up the sphere more. We can, we can go ahead and we can move a, a charge towards the sphere. But what it's going to require is going to be work because we want to, we need to store extra potential energy in that charge and by moving it closer and closer and closer we're doing that now if i had negative charge i'd store potential energy by moving it closer if i had a positive charge because it would, would be uh, attracted to the negatives so if i had a positive charge over here i would i could store potential energy because it wants to go to the left i could store potential energy by moving it to the right So this slide's kind of going at potential energy versus electric potential. Um, they sound a lot alike. They're close. They're, they're somewhat related, but you have to understand the whole difference between the two. So potential energy, when you see initially the sphere, the first sphere right there that has the three negatives on it, the electric potential energy is the total joules of potential energy from that object, the whole object, trying to, be, trying to get away from this, uh, this sphere right here. Whereas electric potential, we're only talking about per charge. And in this case, we're talking about the desire of one electron to be away from that sphere. So key there is electric potential, or we'll see the term voltage. We'll also see the term potential difference and try to confuse you guys. They throw three different words to mean the exact same thing. Electric potential, voltage, or potential difference. That is a per charge. So we're talking about one electron or one proton, but we're talking about a per charge desire to, to flow. Whereas potential energy we're looking at joules, so the unit here would be joules, the unit here is going to be the volts. Um, but if you see joules, we're talking about the entire objects, the, the entire energy to flow away, everything to flow away. So just looking at the difference, so if we take a look at these two spheres, we can see that this one has more potential energy because the entire sphere has more electrons. This one has less potential energy because the entire sphere has less electrons. But if we look at a charge per charge basis, these the way a conductor would work is these electrons are flow kind of everywhere at once. These electrons flow everywhere at once. Well, one single electron would want to flow away. They're both being the same distance. They would equally want to flow away. And so they actually would have the same voltage, even though this one has more potential over potential energy overall. The next unit we're going to look at what will happen when we give a give a something with a voltage. Uh, a pathway to, to kind of neutralize itself. And when it does that, that current, which will, the next unit is going to be current, can use, can be used to, to power a, a device of some sort. So that flow of electrons. And as you see, at some point in time, when, when those charges are equal, there's no desire to flow either way. And when there's no desire for the electrons on a charge per charge basis to flow, we would call that no voltage. And as you can see, the light's not working at that point in time. So the variables we're going to use in our equations here are V for voltage, unit V, um, the W for, for work, the units can be the joules or J, the potential energy is the work can be done to store potential energy and potential energy can be released doing work itself. They're kind of the same. So it's also going to have the unit, the joule. Charge Q is going to have the unit Coulomb or capital C. Distance is going to be in meters here in this unit. And anytime you have something other than these, you'd have to convert. So sometimes you might see centimeters. You might have to divide a number by 100. So these are the mathematical relationships. Uh, we have voltage is equal to work over a charge. And just if you remember from before, work, work is force times distance. So we can replace the force distance for the work. And we get this new version of the equation. Um, 
voltage is equal to the potential energy, the change in potential energy over charge, and the electrical field is equal to the voltage over the distance. So you just have to look and read through the problems and find out what they give you. And here we have a balloon with 5,000 volts and a charge of 5 times 10 to the negative 7 coulombs, and it asks you for the potential energy. And so um, the actual potential energy here would be the change in potential energy. So if we just solve for PE here, and it's asking you for total potential energy, so to rearrange the equation, you could P's on the top, so you just have to get rid of Q, multiply out the Q, you get PE equals VQ, plug in our values, and our answer here is going to be 0 0.0025 joules. So next one, we have 24 joules of work. We're pushing this charge, this 0 0.0033 coulomb charge, and it's asking you what the voltage is, so that leads us to this equation. Plug in our values, and we get an answer of 7,273 volts. Here we have a bolt of lightning that costs a voltage of 2.5 times 10 to the 6 volts. We have a charge of 1.2 coulombs, and it's asking you about how much potential energy did it contain. So we can rearrange this equation again, plug in our values, and we would get 3.0 times 10 to the 6 joules. And so when we do our work right here, that's what we're going to end up getting. This next one has a force. It's giving you a charge. It's telling you the distance between uh, from, from the distance in between the two points. And it asks you for the electric potential. Once again, voltage is electric potential. Um, that leads us to this equation. We can plug in our values. And when we get an answer, we get 1905, 1905 volts. This next one, we have a spark jumping from a, when there was a potential difference of 9,000 volts. It tells you a distance of 0 0.0021 meters. And it asks you about the electrical field. And that leads you to this equation. When you plug in your values, you get this answer right here, 4.29 times 10 to the 6 Newton Coulombs. And that's it. Um, these are all the equations from this unit, so it's important to have all these in one place, especially if you're about to take the test so you know which one to pick from. Make a nice givens list. If you have two charges, you're going to be using that. If the two charges are the same, but you still have two charges, you're going to be using this. Um, you know, when we, we dealt with voltage, you see the Vs in these equations. And then um, the, one of our units was just talking about electrical field, and we were using this equation and this equation. So it's important just read the question, make a givens list, understand the circumstance, and then go for the right equation, do any rearranging, and follow through and get the answer.